Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge. The purpose of today's video is to show you the Grip Force RTS sights. I've used these sights now for a couple of months and I can tell you that they blow me away. They're, they're better than any sights that I've used and the good news about them is that you can buy them as a set. You can not only use a rear and a front sight directly from them, but you can also just use the, the RTS rear. And what I like about that is that if you already have HD sights for your front sight, that uh, orange or the, or the yellow, you can use these sights with it. You just put the rear sight in place of whatever rear sight that you already have. Um, you can use, it works with any front sight for that matter. All right, folks, these are the Grip Force RTS sights. Um, these is designed for reactive shooting. And if you guys understand what reactive shooting is, that's shooting in human response time, which is generally a quarter second or a half a second. Um, the Roger Shooting School elaborates on this pretty extensively. But this is the RTS sight, the rear. If you see, it's got these edges here. It's got a, almost a ramped, it goes up, and then it's got this notch, at which point the front sight is in there. When I use this pistol, when I pick it up, I mean, it is, it is almost automatically right there and lined up for me. This is my sight picture when I'm already on target. It's very quick. Um, these were designed by shooters. I mean, the guys at Grip Force are shooters. They, they, they shoot very well. They're, <laughs> they've been through a lot of hard programs of fire, so they know what shooters need. And this is my personal Glock here. Um, it comes as a set. So the Grip Force either comes with the rear sight and the front sight. It comes with a Dawson Precision front sight with a fiber optic, but I've chosen instead to go with the flat black. Um, it's not a big deal at all. I actually prefer this sight set up. Um, it works well at distance. It works well with speed. It works great with precision. It's a great blend. So this is what your sights would look like. They're very reasonable. You can get just the rears, I think for like under 50 bucks. It's a great deal uh, for doing that. So if you've got a front sight you like, for some of you guys that got Trigicon HD sights or the HRs, the new ones, the thinner ones, this will work. All you do is plug that rear sight in there. You can order just the rear or you can order it as a set. Very beneficial for you guys that really like your front sights or if you like those Meprolite fronts or any kind of front sight will work. And this is what the sight picture is. So let's go to the range and really stretch these things out. So I'm going to run some drills today for you. I'm going to show you just how fast these are up close at intermediate distance and even farther away. Um, got some plates I'm going to knock down for you and show you just how quick these are. Um, first, we're going to start with a regular box drill. This drill's been around forever. Um, and we'll just show you how it can be done and how quickly it can be done. I'm going to shoot for under 19 seconds. Let's see if we can get that happen. So I've got six targets. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, as you can see. I've got six different stations. The first ones are about eight yards away, and these back here about 15 yards away. Um, so what we're going to do is going to show you up close and also that inter intermediate range, you know, 15 yards or so. I'm going to try to get this in under 20 seconds. I should be able to do it, no sweat. Um, so you'll notice the plates because as soon as I hit them, they'll knock over. Pay attention to the speed at which I'm able to shoot these, not only up close, but also at 15 yards away. They're eight by eight pieces of steel, so pretty good realistic representation of either a head or a vital zone. So let's go ahead and see how it goes. really notice on those 15 yard shots it was quick that's 18.8 so I beat my par easily but uh, <laughs> if you really notice how quick those 15 yard shots are when I bring my sights up it's right there and one of the benefits of the RTS sight is that you get a sight picture a flash sight picture that's good enough not only up close at speed but even in the middle you can get some really good quick shots on this so now that you saw it at speed with movement, I want you to pay attention to it because we're going to start at 15 yards, move back 25, then 50, then 75, then 100. And so I'm going to show you that this precision with these sights is also there. So not only do you have speed, but the precision is there as well. We'll start at 15. It's an easy chip shot. So this is 15 yards, no problem at all. All right, so let's move back to 25. So 25 yards, folks. Once again, no problem. Let's just go right back to 50. There's no reason to waste time at 35 and 40 and all that. We'll just go straight back to 50 yards. So this is a 50 yard shot. I'm running a stock Glock 19, stock trigger, regular old 115 grain practice ammo, nothing special, no match barrel or anything. It's all everything stock. So 50 yard head shot, that's a good mark for a good set of sights to see if you can hit it. So let's try to get a first round hit here, 50 yards uh, with the Grip Force RTS sights. Ha! 
How about that? Right down, huh? Here at 100 yards, I'm going to try to knock it down the first shot or two. So 100 yards on an 8x8 piece of steel. Stock lock, stock trigger, stock barrel, everything. Just regular 115 grain practice ball ammo. All right. Just, just off the left edge. That one clipped it, it hit it just off the side, but I'll try to knock it down. Dang it. Yeah, there we go, knocked it down. On that, it was a third or fourth shot, I don't remember. I knew, but I called each shot and I hit two out of, I know I hit two of them because they one clipped the left side, I saw it move a little, but that last one knocked it down. So how about that, 100 yard headshots with Grip Force RTS sights. I wanna knock them all down quick, so come on back over here. All right, everyone, we're 20 yards away. I've got six pieces of steel out there. I'm gonna set my timer to six seconds and see if I can pick these up. As you can see, there are three sets of two and they're both five yards apart, so there's pretty good distance between them. I'm gonna have to transition quickly if I'm gonna make this par. So six pieces of steel knocked down in six seconds. Let's see if we can do it. Yes! <laughs> right on the button, six. <laughs> so pretty good. As you can see, six targets in six seconds. That's, that's I'm happy with that. And you can see why I like these sites so much. They're so quick to pick up on transition. If you found the information helpful, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Facebook. That link is down below. And if you want to get some training on your pistol, come on out to Valor Ridge and we can do just that for you. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.